Hello. This week it was reported that the British Association of Aesthetic Plastic Surgeons have warned a sharp increase in younger patients requesting cosmetic surgery. The association claimed that last year over 50,000 cosmetic procedures were carried out on 18 to 25 year olds. That's a 17% increase from 2013. Joining me today is Martha Sears, a 20 year old student from Southampton who is committed to undergoing surgery once her degree is over. Hi Martha. Can you tell me exactly what inspired you to, to want to undergo such surgeries? You are still so young. Well, I mean, it obviously started when I was a little bit younger. I went through a lot of bullying at school, obviously, like, for your appearance and things. Obviously, you haven't grown up yet, but obviously, because you're at such a young age, it affects you, like, a lot on the inside. And um, uh, it, really, it sounds really bad, but my, um, my dad, like, I like, have a really saggy chin. I was really, like, paranoid about it. I got, like, bullied for that as well. And um, my dad always like told me to just do like exercises and things like that. And you know when someone's only joking, but it's like a constant like thing in the back of your mind and like a constant dig. And so I've always like felt some like stuff like that. And I'm I'm quite like an avid social media user, and um, things like Instagram like people get paid like fifty thousand pounds like per photo like to upload things. And obviously that's quite like a on a daily basis. That's that's quite a, like a hard thing to deal with. What do you think your family would say if they knew that they'd encouraged you to want to undergo plastic surgery from cruel taunts when you were younger? Well, I think I th they think they completely disagree. I mean, obviously, parents always think like they're always like you're like the, you're beautiful and like, you d like there's nothing to change. But um, I think they definitely disagree with it. They think it was a waste of money. You mentioned Instagram. Now, would you say that it's because of a celebrity influence that girls your age are wanting to undergo surgery? Definitely, definitely. I mean, like you're always like you see a lot of things on all, on all social media. I mean, um, and celebrities are like constant there, and they're always in the magazines, and they just show you like so they're always showing off like their appearance and things like that. And everyone always everyone fancies celebrities. They don't have like they have fantasies about normal people, do they? It's always in celebrity culture. I mean, it's embarrassing to admit, but I'm quite a fan of the Kardashians. I mean, they've all got something. Like, they've all got different aspects about them that's like really nice. I mean, like Chloe's got really nice hair and like. They've all got really nice figures. I mean, Kylie Jenner, like obviously, like recently, there's been a lot of like the um, the lip, the whole lip thing, and um, that's quite interesting. Like, kind of like I wouldn't have thought about that before, but now it's obviously in my mind. Are you sure you'd want to have cosmetic surgery and not go along the route of um, a more semi-permanent? There are um, products on the market whereby you can, the like you mentioned, the lip fillers. You can suck on a on a lip filler, and that can have the same effect. Would you not rather do something like that than a than a permanent surgery to your face. I mean, I've never really considered it. I don't think. Um, I think I've always thought that if it's more permanent than that, then that's kind of that, isn't it? But um, I've heard about those lip things. I think, but there's always um, there's kind of always a stigma behind everything like that. I mean, obviously there's stuff behind plastic surgery, but I've heard like bad things, like things go wrong, and like that's more like defor is it de deformation to like your face and like bruising. And I don't know if I'd want that rather than just going through a procedure that was just kind of immediate and long lasting. Surely you would be aware that these procedures can also go wrong also. Yeah, I mean, that is obviously like a, a thing, but when you've gone through it for so long, it's kind of, it doesn't really matter. Like I'd rather, I can always get that changed again. Like people have like things happen to their, to their breasts when they get their breasts done and they just get something else done to correct it. I mean, it's a silly way to look at it, but. Would you not wait, would you not rather wait until a few more years down the line? I mean, I think because obviously I've gone through it for such a, um, from such a young age, I um, it's kind of already in my mind. Like I don't really think to to wait anymore. I think I'm I'm already 21 years old. I'll be 22 when I 22, 23 when I finish uni. So I think that's kind of a, a good enough time. I mean, obviously, if you've got the money to do it, then you might as well. And finally, can you tell us exactly what surgeries you would want to take, or how you're going to afford these after you are a student that's graduated? I mean, I have no idea, but um. I don't know, it's kind of just built up a list and, like, of just things that I'd want done. I mean, I'd, obviously, I'd like want my teeth whitened, like I'd want like, my hair done. I'd want, I really, like, obviously I'm so paranoid about my chin, like I just want it just like tucked in, like, and just, so I have like a jawline, everyone's got jawlines. I'd really like nice like, like cheek, like lip, like everything on my face. And then um, I'd really like a breast reduction and like liposuction and just put that on my bum, that'd be great. <laughs> I'm sure you don't need any of those. Thank you for joining us. After the break, we're discussing if it's right for adopted children to search for their biological parents. And of course, Katie Hopkins will be here to give us her opinion too. Don't miss it.